Morning everybody, today we're doing some fencing. We're over here at all the hay. So dad wants to fence all this off so we can get rid of that stupid temporary uh, electric fence. And then that's all fenced in by itself and probably done. He's also running more fence in this paddock, basically dividing it up so that it's easier to push stock through and making pretty much two holding paddocks for when we have a, like sheep up here or whatever, we're doing sheep work or cow work or stuff like that. So today we're going to try and fence this um, section where the hay gets put in. And uh, yeah, so if you watch the channel for a little while, you'll know what we're about to do. So we're going to run all the steel posts out, space them all out, and sight them in, or sight them, tap them in a little bit, and then we'll bang them all the way in, and we'll run a little bit of wire as well. So we won't muck around, we'll just get into it. Dad spaced all the <clears throat> posts out, we just chucked them all on the ground. So now we're going to side them all up with the end assembly down that other end there, just past the tree in that drum. And uh, Dad will tap them in slightly just to hold them, and then we'll go along with the tractor and the uh, motorised mm. post driver and drive them in. So we banged all the steel posts in. Uh, now we're up here at the end assembly. So we've got to put these stay posts in. So we've got to cut, cut them to length and then drill a hole so we can put a um, pin through it to hold it together. And do we wire it as well? Yeah. So, and then we put wire across it, which what, like holds it all together basically. Yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, we're going to cut it to length and we'll, we'll do that as well. Just like that one. Yeah, like that pretty much is what we're going to do.
that's back up against there. Lifting right up. So just hold it there. So we just finished putting all the stay posts into these end assemblies. Now we're going to set up the wiring that holds it all together. Stay wire. And um, yeah, once we've done that, we might <clears throat> run out some plain wires and uh, try and get see it. We end up getting done. So we ended up finishing doing the stay wires, as you can see, this up there. And all it really is, is just a length of plain wire wrapped around the bottom and top of the end assembly three times. And then there's a griffle in the middle and it's all strained up and tightened and it keeps it all compressed. So now we've been up to the shed and got some cyclone <clears throat> fencing wire and we're gonna roll that out to the other end of this um, stretch of fence, down to the other end assembly past that tree. And we'll get that all set up and tightened and um, secured. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go after that.
of the cyclone ran out and we've strained it up. That's just tying it off now to the end assembly. It's all stapled on. All right, now the ends of the cyclone are all secured to the end assemblies. We're going along now. We've got these um, clips here and we twitch them onto the cyclone at each steel post. Yeah, so we're just putting one on the top wire of the cyclone at each post just for now just to get the fence off the wire off the ground so the cows don't walk all over it because the cows in here. And usually there would be three. So then once we've got this on, there'll be a top wire that'll run through the top post on all the, the top hole in all the posts. And that'll be the electric fence wire. So we'll have to put insulators on the top of the posts as well. So we've rolled out the second bit of cyclone wire here on this other bit of fence. Um, I've been on all the posts and put on the insulators for the electric wire, same as along that fence. So now we're pretty much going to do the same thing, tie it all up, staple it, and then probably twitch the top wire up to the three posts there. And then, um, yeah, that'll be all the cyclone, uh, well, semi-hung anyway, it's less that the rest of the clips put onto the posts. But I'll come back to you when we're finished doing that. All right, we're finishing up here for the day on the fencing. We've just chucked these two gates here to stop the cattle getting in overnight. Dad's going to come tomorrow and <clears throat> finish it off. Uh, yeah, all that section there is all uh, twitched up to the posts and strained up and all that. And yeah, the other section's still got to be um, connected to the post still. But I think Dad's going to do that tomorrow. So we're just packing up now. Right, so we finished up the fencing for the day. Now I've got Dad who didn't really want to come out here and I do it. We're out of this paddock that I cultivated. It's going to have the barley picking rocks because we're going to sow it probably next week. Um, so I want to get it done now. And there's quite a few big ones. So we're going to pick up some rocks, get them off the paddock, and then we should be right to sow it. We've just finished picking, not all the rocks, there's always going to be more rocks every year, there'll be more. But we picked all the big ones, so we should be pretty right. Hopefully we don't break too much stuff this year. Just unloaded them there into the bit of a rocky area. So that'll do us for the day, we're done. We're going to go up to the house have a rest. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll catch you the next one. Alright.